But though I would go back even a step upstream from that. In my opinion, it is an ethic requirement, an ethical requirement to engage with citizens face to face, moment to moment, over and over again, in many different ways, in order to understand the city that they want. And what I discovered is that when you get into that intimate relationship with tens of thousands of citizens, you learn there is a way. For decades, they were choosing not to live in, the, in, these, in our cities, all over Canada, because people were, without consulting them, plopping down density. They were destroying neighborhoods. They were doing all the kind of things that the last generation almost enjoyed because they had this philosophy that they were trying to implement. But they forgot. You need citizens. And you need them not just once. You don't need them just over a web. You don't need them just in a meeting or an open house. You need their hearts. And it took us back to neighborhoods because that was the frame, the scale, I'll say, at which you can have a conversation. You know, a conversation can get too big. It gets too grand. And most people start to tune out. When we were dealing with densification, and Ann McAfee, my colleague, is co-director of planning with me, brilliantly, brilliantly, when we realized that we also had to bring the densities up a bit in those neighborhoods that we had protected those years before, she said, yes, and, and we will do it by going out in each neighborhood. And we will talk with people. And, and she discovered, and she only got through a few neighborhoods before her time was up and my time was up. But she discovered that, yes, there is plenty of open-mindedness once you have a conversation. But you try to lay something on people? No. Well, um, I contrast that with the mindset at City Hall today, which is very different. And I can tell you, having set, sat through hundreds of public hearings over the course of this term, that uh, the neighborhoods and the, and the residents do not feel heard as things are changing. And moreover, the narrative that's coming through loud and clear these days is, you're all a bunch of NIMBYs. 